Danny. Four-year-old Maria got an infection that seemed out of nowhere. No complaints all day till Sunday night. She had a rash and it started on her torso or her upper torso and just spread. It spread everywhere. So Amy Teal took Maria to the doctor and there a surprising diagnosis, scarlet fever. I thought, how random. Scarlet fever, I didn't even know scarlet fever was still around. It is and is caused by the same bacteria that leads to strep throat. She didn't even have any complaints really of a sore throat, so I would never have even suspected that it was strep. The strep bacteria is something that you hear strep throat, impetigo are common infections, and then that bacteria actually forms a toxin that then can cause other side effects, and one of them is, is scarlet fever. Symptoms include a sore throat, fever, swollen glands, and that telltale red rash, starting with the face. Our grandparents were well aware of scarlet fever, but for most parents now, it's not even on the radar. Way back in the 19th century, scarlet fever was a killer. Before antibiotics, it swept through communities and was a leading cause of death. Dr. Lori Habama says antibiotics treat it quickly, but it is still lurking. When strep throat's going around to school, um, when a lot of kids are getting infected, we see a lot more of the scarlet fever and we've seen that recently. Ten days of antibiotics. You ready? This is the last one. And Maria's infection cleared up right away. And I even told a doctor, thank goodness for modern medicine because this story could have had a, a very tragic outcome.